Hello everybody, I am ZOMG, but please call me Z, and this is my first impressions of Path of Exile. Uh, I've been following this game for a while now. I've seen it... I think I saw Dopefish play it. It's been in development and beta for a very, very long time. And it's out. It came out in October. It's available on Steam. It is also available on the Path of Exile website. Um, I think you can play it yeah, regardless of that. Um... Uh, Okay, I'm kind of lying as a first impression because I have kind of played it. I gave it a little bit of a go to see if it record and see if I like it. But we're going to go with a completely new character anyway because, you know, that's what that's what we're going to do here. Oh, shut up. I know where I'm going. We have... Anyway. Warrior, how about you just shush up and let me do the talking? Bye-bye. Okay, so if you haven't guessed already, Path of Exile is a isometric perspective loot hunting game in the same vein as Diablo and Torchlight. Uh, it is what a lot of people have said Diablo 3 should have been. I somewhat agree with them. I, I knew Diablo 3 wasn't going to be quite, you know, exactly what everyone expected. Because, you know, I'm not that uh, stuck in the past, I guess. Uh, but on that sort of scale, it is a loot hunting, monster bashing, class using thing. We have a bunch of different classes. We have I fought, wept, and bled for God a Templar. I so I'm guessing he's some kind of healery type dude. We have Shadow. I guess he's our sort of rogue class. Marauder, who I clicked before, is our big warrior. Ranger. Hey, Ranger. She will be our shooting range class. Duelist. I don't know what he kind of is. He might be some kind of rogue as well. And we have a witch. I think I want to play a marauder. Marauder sounds pretty good. I love the idea of bashing people in the head, so... Bugger off, witch. Bugger off. Go on. What am I going to call this guy? Um, let's call him... Little Slugger. That sounds fun. Character with his name already exists. Oh, come on, man. That's just not cool. Uh, Bashing McClub. Bashing McClub. Yeah, and so begins the adventures of Bashing McClub the Marauder. Oh, that doesn't look very fun at all. Let's have a chat to this little dude and see exactly what the hell is going on. Hello. Hello. We're all they made it. They dumped. Two dozen of us exiles off the ship. <laughs> they dumped. Guess that makes us the lucky ones. Luckier than this poor bastard beside me. At any rate. <coughs> splinter sticking out of me? He missed all the important things. Buddy, that's more than a splinter. I saw smoke at those ruins up the beach. Go get some help. And I might just... <laughs> You might just what? What might you just? Stuff you, buddy. I'm gonna punch you in the head. That's what you get for being undead. When I kill a man, he stays dead. Well, that's a good way to do things. Um, cool. So our guys have little quips and that kind of thing. There are things on the ground that I can pick up. I've picked up. Where is my inventory? Uh, the button. The I button. Cool. So one of the differences I've discovered in Path of Exile is that you don't gain skills as you level up in the same way that you would in a game like, say, again, Torchlight or Diablo, where each sort of level you get to invest points in skill. Instead, you pick up gems that um, you socket into weapons in a sort of similar vein, and they actually give you skills. So I've got Heavy Strike there. I can pop that into that one there. Yes, and that gives me this skill on my right mouse button, but I'm going to change that because I just want a Heavy Strike all day, all night. Uh, the thing, I've got to show you this because it just blows your mind. If you're used to talent trays that you get um, in other games, they're kind of limited and you sort of have, you know, each class has their kind of specialty. Not in Path of Exile. This is where our Marauder Dude starts off and this is how he progresses every level. He goes all the way up here, he can get some more strength and armor, blah, 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 blah. But he can go anywhere the hell he wants. So if you want to take him and make him a range class, you can bring him all the way around to wherever the range class guy is because, Jesus, I can't remember. Um, it's pretty huge. It reminds me of Final Fantasy X. Ten? Ten? The one with the with the big board? Anyway, we don't have any points to spend in there anyway, so let's just bugger off out of there and do some smashing. Hulk smashing with, uh, <laughs> Mr. McClub. Ooh, what are they? Okay, heavy strikes are good because they explode things. Ooh, what is that? 
I like that it automatically puts something on instead of me having to go into my inventory and do that. My mana is gone. Dude, you don't need mana. You're like a big, burly, smashy dude. Mana is irrelevant for you. I must say, one of the first things that I sort of noticed when I started the game is that I love these graphics. These graphics are amazing. Um, I don't have the best computer system, but it's not too bad. Um, and I do get a pretty decent frame rate when I uh, am not recording at the same time. <laughs> Man, these poor guys, they drowned. Isn't there a lifeguard around? Oh, I'm just noticed in the bottom corner I'm about to die. Shield, protect me. No, I'm going to try and find someone who can explain something about these drowned guys. Who the hell is watching this beach? Yeah. Lots of dudes. Come on. I'm really taking a licking at the moment as a uh, upfront sort of dude. There seems to be a lot of enemies. Oh, I did play a little bit of... What did I play? I played as the uh, the ranger woman, and uh, I found that... I didn't have very many problems at all facing against the enemies that I play... Uh, that I had to... or that I come across anyway, because... I was able to get a lot of distance from them, and you know, being a ranged class character, nothing sort of got up to me. To do any major damage. Buddy, you just exploded. I saw your guts and everything. I live to see another door. Ding! We had leveled up. So, how about we actually have a proper look in here? This is where I am. We have to progress through in the same way. Yeah, I like to follow the lines to be able to gain our skills. There are some sort of major mastery sort of things here that give you like special major abilities, that kind of thing. And then you've got these other ones that sort of go here. So I can give myself 14% increased extra life, or I can give myself increased melee and physical damage. Um, I'm sure if you spend a lot of time planning, there's like a good, like you can find an optimal path so you can, you know, become like the, the glass cannon kind of dude who just bashes the living shit out of things. Um, I think just for the sake of things, 15% increased melee, why not? Uh, we'll apply our points. You just get back to killing. The killing, guys. I keep missing these dudes, and that's really annoying. Now, Path of Exile, I forgot to mention, it is a... It's actually free to play, so you have... You don't have to pay any money. There are some um, paid trappings in the game, but they are mostly... They, it's been assured by the developers that they are always going to be something uh, that is only aesthetic so you know you get cool looking armors or something like that I, I don't know I haven't actually had a look at it because I prefer the sort of free-to-play action in here anyway uh, but yeah they, they said they're not going to put anything into the game that is going to be you know change the way the game plays or is going to give anyone an extra advantage for having invested money uh, much I guess in the same way as Hearthstone and a lot of other free-to-play oh against some free-to-play MMOs a lot of them have you know EXP boost and that kind of stuff you know get that here Man, my life. The one thing that I love about this is that you don't have to collect potions. Because it's sort of a free-to-play game, there isn't any specific sort of in-game currencies that you pick up in the way of gold or whatever. Uh, instead, I don't, I don't know what I was going to that trend. Anyway, what I was going to say anyway was that you don't have to buy potions uh, in this game. You don't collect them or whatever. You have health flasks here. Uh, when you use them, it uses a charge. Say so I've got 7 of 21 charges. And... It refills as you kill monsters, which is really, really awesome. So I could just empty out that one on there, and I'm just going to start bashing some dudes, and you watch it fill up so I can use it again. Buddy, you are dead. In theory, it fills up. That's what it told me. Click level up. Oh, that's something else I didn't mention either, because, you know, I'm not very <laughs> accustomed to doing reviews and this kind of thing. Gems that you have equipped in your weapons that gain you skills. The skills level up as you gain experience, and you get to level those gems up as well. So, ding! It's gone up. It does more damage now. That's cool. Kill Hillock. But what do you do to me? <gasps> Maybe he's the the negligent lifeguard around this place. Buddy. I'm going to smash you up. Oh. That's kind of grotty. Where is that sword? Well, I know where that sword has been, but don't use it on me. Go away. Ah, run away. Run away. Uh, my potion didn't fill up as I uh, said it was going to, but it does have three charges, so 
once I think it gets to seven charges, I think it said there, then it will be ready to go. Helic, get dead. Oh yeah. And I've got myself a pretty sweet uh, looking bunch of stuff. Let's pick all that stuff up. And let's check it out. Um, I'm assuming that, that uh, armors and items have the same kind of loot tiers that you do get in a lot of other games where you have like, you know, regular magic items then rare ones then special legendary ones and that kind of stuff. I've got a yellow which I think is above uh, any other one so I'm going to use my scroll here and identify it. Extra armor, extra life, life regen and fire resistance. Yeah, yeah, hell yes. I'm not going to say no to that. And I've got this leather cap as well. So what can you do for me? Uh... That's not what I want. Lightning resistance. Ha! It's always good to be able to resist the lightning. Has no armor but evasion rating. I'm guessing evasion means that I won't get hit. Hmm. Well, anyway, I have a big arrow down here. What's that, Tommy? I have killed Hillock. Return to town. Enter town for your reward. Return to town. What am I talking about? I haven't been here yet. Oh, thank you very much. Kind sir. I've finished. You can trade. It's cool. I don't want to read that message at all. Who's that? Oh, so I'm. Um, this is a like little hub world, I guess. Like your main town's a little hub world where you can actually see other people and join up. These are some things I got in my last game. You have an arrow uh, at exclamation mark. No need to be surprised. Kyle. What? My father and I were amongst those who tried to save your people from ignorance and damnation. Ignorance. Paid for his arrogance with his life. He, he did. did. I'd probably not have bashed him. And I suppose I should thank you for ridding us of Hillock, that putrid giant you felled out there. Yes, you should. Be very thankful. In the days to come. He was a grotty bastard. Oh, savagery is nothing when compared to the ferocity that is Rayclast. Oh, Rayclast. Watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here while you live. But is that what everyone's been doing these days? Just using me? Do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, okay. amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. You make a nice prof. What have you got to say, a Mr. Captain Guy? Marauder, marooned on a moribund mainland. Moribund? That's the first line of the poem I'm writing. I don't even know what that word means. Easy, then. You could cut a bloke with a bloke like that. I can cut a bloke with Mage this bloody giant club I've got, too. Captain of the good ship, Mary Gull. Unless my Mary Gull is gone, my crew. But my wits remain after the fashion. <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt that. Island, a hop, skip, and a wade off shore. In Ireland. That's where my merry goat ran aground. Watched the local spit roast the ship's dock. But his medicine chest might still be there amongst the splinters and bones. Splinters? Like the one that that fella back on the beach had? That wasn't a bloody splinter, that was a whole freaking tree trunk. Through the chest. But he knew his apothecary. Explains the shaking. Okay, goodbye. And my other dude over here to have a talk to. Work with Hillock. Oh. Where'd you learn to fight like that? I don't tell me. We exiles have no history. It's part of my blood, man. Look at me, I'm built. Blackguards dumped us in the water out there. Just to live and die. Here, one of these. No need to thank me. I'm thinking of myself and the others here. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Okay. So what have you got for me? So I guess I can get a new gem to use. So I have area of attack, melee. I've got another area of attack. Character swings the weapon in an arc towards a target. It also does damage to nearby monsters. Only works with axes and swords. So that doesn't work with my piece of wood that I've got. Dual wielding one? No, I've got a big shield, so no dual wielding. I might as well just use this one, the, the ground slam. That sounds pretty cool anyway. Character slams the ground in front of them with a man weapon, creating a wave of Charles Ford and damage to enemy and increased chance to stun. Only works with staves or maces. Oh, so I guess I kind of get locked into different types of weapons that I have to use. So the heavy strike works with maces, swords, and axes. This works with maces or staves. So I guess if I want to be keep on using this one, I will have to have maces. Oh, oh, bugger it. I'll just use it and put it in somewhere. Do you go in there? Okay, cool. Goodbye. So I guess we have a new quest to go and get the medicine chest from the uh, Merry Gull, which is out through this area here. Anyway, I think this is a good place to sort of call it here. Um, I, as sort of a last word, 
the last thing to say, I'm actually really enjoying this game. Uh, on the other character class that I played, um, I've got myself a high level. I don't know what the max level is in the game yet because I haven't honestly got that far. I've only played maybe two, three hours of the game at most, um, then this time as well. Uh, but from what I've seen, I'm really enjoying it. Um, graphically, it's brilliant. Music is great. It has the good old sort of monster kill and loot bash and collect and feeling that, you know, the old Diablo 2 had. Um, and it, it's definitely good. Did I just have a Steam message? Because I wasn't even looking at the camera. I was looking towards my microphone. Um, Path of Exile, guys. Definitely, I would say, give it a check out. It's free. You've got nothing to lose from having a go. Um, except for maybe a whole bunch of your time. Because it's just that cool. So anyway, I actually might want to do a series on that. So... Yeah, I'm going to do a series of that. What do you reckon? Do you want to see me do some hacking and slashing and killing and looting and stuff? That'll be fun. I don't know. Do you want to see it? I want to see it. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, definitely check out Path of Exile. Um, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, goodbye! Thank you.